Make no mistake. I'm a sociopath. God, that sounded evil. Let's rewind a little. I grew up all over coastal America. House after house after restraining order. Everything just kind of blends in. If the divorce rate is 50-50, my mom landed on tails like eight times. So by the time I was 14, right, I moved from seven different houses and attended six different school districts. After a while, you don't see a point in making friends. The vitamin C graduation song? Yeah, I can't relate. But then one year, all of that almost changed. For the first time ever, I found myself in a school for two consecutive years, going on three. And then I like started turning pretty a month into high school, so the guys hitting on you social leverage was really awesome. The popular girls would talk to me all the time. And they were just stupid. Like they'd always been pretty, never left out, never alone. And when I think about it, all the thinking I've ever done was when I was alone. I was nice about it and thought I'd always be nice about it. Finally in one place to build a steady reputation. And then life said, fuck that. My piece of shit gamer brother got us evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. It's like not even good music. Anyway, so mom was crying, packing up the moving boxes, and that's when she told me, we're moving out of state. And I just got settled. I said, fuck you, I'm living with dad. He's just a neighborhood down. I put the boxes down, go over, knock on the door, and boom, a gunshot.
my second Christmas killed himself! I walked in. Floor looked like a whole ass video game, just blood everywhere. And get this, his suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it? Nicole's fault. I'm Nicole, by the way. Hi. What the fuck did I do to him? Maybe I missed the office softball game? Men are so into this revenge suicide thing. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I'm moving. Again. City, county, state, all the same fate. But I've always said that while leaving. This time, it's on arrival. Is this what cam girls feel like? I think cam girls do a little more than we did. But at least they get paid. We had to flirt with that weirdo for free. No, we lost a bet. That's not free, it's just hoeing pro bono. Why would you put up flirting with Jeffrey in the first place? Oh, so you thought she could steal that hot dog roller? No, but ugh, just that whole class yesterday. Wow, Jeffrey, your Naruto drawings are so good. Ew. That wasn't even the worst part. People had to watch us do that. Plus, he probably won't leave me alone for like a month now. He's gonna go home to his video games and make creative characters of us. Yeah, he'll kill us in Grand Theft Auto. You can make characters in Grand Theft Auto? Do I look like a bitch who would know? Whatever. God, I need a Xanax. Wait, where did I put it? Bitch, that was my last Xan. How'd you take that? Quick hands.
Titty and Xanax, what a combo. Goes together like peanut butter and Percocet. This is true. Oh yeah, he kept doing that. This is true. Like, he's too good to say, yeah, he has to be a scientist about it. Helen, what about, um, okay? I hate it when they do that. Like, they gotta sound like the gay comic relief cat in every Disney movie. This is true. This is true. Yes, in fact. Quite the interesting outfit. Stop screaming, we're having sex. What are you doing? <laughs> Sounds like you had a class with Jeffrey. She has McDonald's. Emily, where'd you get McDonald's? McDonald's? Bitch, give me a fry. Is that how you ask? Bitch, please give me a fry. And yeah, we had a class with Jeffrey. Me too, I could tell. He was drawing pictures of you guys the whole class. No way. What are we doing on the pictures? Like being cute, making kissy faces with hearts around it. Nicole, we're gonna get murdered. We're gonna get murdered by a guy who can't even tie his fucking shoes. Well, at least you won't torture us. Can't tie a rope either. Yeah, but I ripped him up and threw him in the trash. Told that hoe to watch it. You're the best, Emily. I know. Okay, I gotta go sell the janitor Adderall. I'll see you guys later.
You're like the hottest bitch ever. And I love her hair. What's gayer? Dating a girl or wanting a girl to have sex with your dead body? Uh, dating a girl? Still straight. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, so what are we doing for marketing? It's the movie casting thing, right? Yeah, yeah, so I was thinking... <gasps> I think the AC exploded again. That scared me, but yeah. The challenge should be a cast of bald guys who don't look like they say the N-word. How is that a challenge? Name one. Vin Diesel? No, wait. Bruce Willis? Wow, this is challenging. Damn, that's a lot of AC units. Attention students and faculty, we are in emergency lockdown. Please follow procedures at this time. What the fuck was that about? Is that... Jeffrey snapped! We gotta get out of here! Huh. What are you doing? Let's go! We flirted with him yesterday. We're the last people he'd kill. Just chill out. I thought you were running for it. Security locked the doors. Damn, that was a big one. You won't be in rush hour three. Did you just look at their anime books? They're not anime books, they're called oh. manga! Manga! Who else wants some? Anime girls are better than real women!